Hello there, it's the English Picker here. This is a quick coin video that I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, this is a selection of coins that I have been saving to show you all over the last couple of months that I've picked up uh, from antique centres, car boot sales, antiques sort of fairs and antique shows. Um, so yeah, I'll get right into it. The first thing uh, was from the car boot sale today. Um, I picked up this bag of uh, sixpence coins. Most of the ones in here are copper nickel. But there were a few gems. I paid £2 for the bag. And I got five 50% silver ones. I got one fairly worn sterling silver one. And then I got three of these sterling silver, they're called love tokens. Um, for those who don't know, they were made out of sort of 1700s uh, sixpences that were, they, they sanded and filed them flat and then with their teeth bent them into this crooked shape and gave them to their sweetheart as sort of a sign of their love that because a sixpence was worth quite a bit of money so to deface it and destroy it was a sort of symbol of of their love this one's quite cool because it's got all sorts of initials stamped on it and then this one you can just make out part of the crest there and uh, it's a 1700s probably um, George the fourth sixpence uh, next thing I got was these these were a fantastic deal this is from um, um, an antique centre that's unfortunately not close to me otherwise I'd be there quite often um, basically it's a guy who does coins and he's only just moved into the antique centre and soon his prices will start going up because he's obviously going to be selling quite a lot of stuff at this prices I bought stuff off him before um, The all these ones here were in these kind of flip things and had prices on them and they were all 10 quid each so I'll show you these crowns first. I'll put them in the protective holders. They're rocking horse crowns, they call them. But these are beautiful because these 50% silver ones quite often oxidise quite badly. But these are absolute belters. They're really nice. Really good quality. So these, well, I'll probably sell one and then put the other one in my own collection maybe. And then these ones are quite sort of odd ones. They're obviously from a much larger set, but he only had these two. And down the bottom here, it says CHI925. And um, each one weighs one ounce. Um, I don't think it's a troy ounce, but it's a round an ounce. But for £10 each, brilliant deal. I think they weigh something like 28 grams. So, great price, really close to its scrap. And then this last one, I need to get a bigger capsule for this because it's about the size of an American Silver Eagle. This is one ounce, uh, and it's a ballerina one, but it's actually Russian. Russian 3 rubles, 1993, in proof, con well, sort of, sort of almost proof condition. And that says AG900. And this is 31.1 underneath the eagle there. So uh, that's unusual for a coin to have that on it. But yeah, for 10 quid, you can't go wrong really. Um, then this next one, um, I'm unsure about this. Um, a good, well, good, and then the bad and the ugly here. I think I might have got caught out by a fake. Um, basically, I picked up the, these two here for £38. Um, this one was £18 and this one was 20 I got him down from... Tw he was asking 25 for that and he was asking 22 for this. So I got him down a bit. Um, and it's a Kookaburra 2007. You know, a, an older one. Um, I do like these, so... May sell it, may keep it, not sure yet. But then there's this one here. I'll see if I can get a close up. And it's got really weird sort of toning, really sort of um, 
like a sort of a, I don't know, it's brassy, but sometimes you do get coins at a turn like that. If it's real, I've hit home run, it sort of, it, it passes the magnet slide test, but it's almost a gram underweight, sort of three quarters of a gram underweight. So that makes me believe it could be a counterfeit. So 1883, but this is the reason why it could be a counterfeit, because it's a Carson City. But that CC does not look right to me. It looks too cartoony. Um, so yeah, honest opinions, don't worry about insulting me. Even people like me get caught out by duds. And it was indoors, it was bad lighting, I had forgotten my scales, um, but I got a magnet so I could test the magnet slide test. So yeah, anyone has any ideas, just drop me a comment. Okay, to, on to some stuff from the same antiques fair. I picked up this coin, I think it's silver, it looks like silver and the magnet slide test sort of looks like it's silver, it's proof condition um, I'm not even sure what it weighs but I paid two quid for it two pounds and it's um, commemorating this castle uh, castle of solitude in this German city um, the city, Stadmin city of Gerlinge so that's the city name there and that's obviously the shield um, very similar to these ones up here except these are Swiss I think um, and this castle here apparently is where they it's now an institute of uh, learning um, for law students that's all I could really find out on it nothing similar on eBay worldwide so um, for two quid um, it's a good deal it's probably it's, uh, it's kind of similar to the size of a um, quarter but about double thickness so it's going to weigh about 10 grams I would think and then I picked up these here I got all these for £12 so ignore the prices these are going to be for my own collection I got a 1912 dime in fine condition um, an 1873 5 cent shield nickel bit of a tougher date to get and then uh, just a 1941 silver quarter Philadelphia so not too bad okay and then lastly I've made contact with a guy who does a lot of melting he melts down for bars and stuff and now he gives me a shout anytime he's got any coins and he got these pieces here and basically uh, this piece including the chain he did me for 50p a gram and these he did me an absolute brilliant deal he did me 10 pounds each and they all came in these PVC things, but I've put one in a in a case there. Um, but this thing is the chain's unusual, a bit damaged. Um, it's a shame it's mounted. It's German states, uh, sort of before. Yeah, when it was all different states, you know, reasonable condition. This one's gold plated it, unfortunately, but it's 1770. So just a really unusual piece, sort of crown size. Um, so yeah, 50p a gram, I'm not going to say no to that but this was a fantastic deal, £10 each I mean, you just can't go wrong they have been polished which is a shame they're all dates that I don't need uh, personally and I wouldn't want personally want to put a polished coin in my own collection um, so yeah, so these will probably get put on eBay or probably next time I do a flea market there's a guy who likes to buy crown coins for about £20 each so yeah so we've got um, two 1889's um, and an 1891 this one's quite highly polished which is a shame uh, and then there's this one here this may go into my own collection I'm not sure uh, I've got to see what condition mine's in um, 1819 it's crazy really if you imagine American coin in this kind of condition for its age it'd be worth an absolute fortune but this I mean 20 pounds maybe so what's that just about 30 dollars crazy really 
so there you go so thanks for watching everyone uh, please rate drop us a comment and if you're not subscribed smack that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for some more videos coming soon bye